is that it actually has two faces. And they're interconnected and they're interlinked on every level. The one face is the one that we really must see and get over our denial and stop pretending isn't happening. And that is the face of massive global death on every level, psychological, spiritual, emotional, political, social. And that has to be faced. But if that's all you're looking at in the world at the moment, I would have asked Jay to have made some James Jones Kool-Aid and we could all have gone and drunk it and sung Kumbaya and I shall overcome one last time and just died and be found by the Stroud authorities here tomorrow. <laughs> But I travel all over the world, and I meet absolutely amazing people all over the world, of every conceivable kind and hairdo, who are doing the most extraordinary things and turning up with massive passion, massive creativity, massive, massive courage, and risking their resources and risking their lives to put wholly new ideas into real, radical action. I meet them in India, I meet them in South Africa, I meet them in Poland, I meet them in England, I met a few in England, which has completely destroyed all previous conceptions that I had about this country, and they're all over South America and England. In fact, if you read a great book by Paul Hawking, Blessed Unrest, you will be convinced by the end of that book which is an astonishing statement, an astonishing manifesto, which says basically that this movement that you and I are part of, incoherent and inchoate though it sometimes is, is actually the biggest movement in the history of the planet. And it is a movement of people who really know the danger, who are not destroyed by despair, who are summoning up the depths of their courage and their passion, and who are going for it, knowing that the whole future of the planet depends on them going for it. And this is the other side of the crisis, and it is a great global birth taking place of a wholly new consciousness in action.